Members of the Cincinnati, Cincinnati City Council want the UC police force to stop off-campus traffic stops, at least for now. Council's law committee is calling for a moratorium on such stops, the kind which led to the deadly shooting of an unarmed driver. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is live at UC with what all this means. Jeff? Well, good evening. I think uh, to start, we need to emphasize, as we've done repeatedly, that the UC Police Department and the City of Cincinnati Police Department are separate and so you know for the future at least the near future it is going to be that uc police will be staying on campus the university of cincinnati police will stay here city of cincinnati police will make any routine traffic stops right off campus off campus is maybe a first down length from where i'm standing that's where the city police will stay uc police will not hey how's it going man the shooting of samuel dubose started out as a traffic stop for no front license plate off-campus traffic stops by UC police have increased dramatically this year, according to Professor Robin Engel of UC's Institute of Crime Science. Nearly two-thirds of UC police tickets have gone to African Americans. The UC student body is only about 10 percent black. City Council's law committee called timeout today, recommending an ordinance that UC police temporarily suspend routine off-campus traffic stops. We don't need that to continue and we don't want that to continue. So we're going to be working through those issues as we recraft uh, some form of an, of an MOU that assures the, the great parents who drop their most prized assets off at that university every fall that we are working together to keep their young people safe. UC police might resume off-campus traffic stops in the future depending on how an ongoing study works out. But could stopping traffic stops actually backfire? Doesn't a UC patrol car driving off campus increase police visibility, scare off bad guys, and keep students safe? Could staying on campus actually make things worse? And I don't think we've uh, initiated any activity that's going to stop random patrols in and around within the contiguous borders of the university. We're not suggesting that they stop being police officers. We're simply asking for a respite, if you will, so that we can look at what their enforcement strategy is. What are they, what's their mission? What's their strategic operational platform? What does it include? What are their goals? And if their goals are to write a lot of traffic tickets, then we need to look at that because we don't believe that's um, a, a proper or prudent thing to do. Full Cincinnati City Council is expected to approve the UC Police off-campus traffic stop moratorium. Actually, that's already in place right now because UC President Santa Ono on his own has stopped it pending a review, outside consultant review of UC police practices. But so that's going to be put into the hopper while this is on hold. And as you heard the chief say, there's going to be a new what they call MOU or Memorandum of Understanding, which will outline who goes when and where, under what conditions. But as of now, UC police are going to stay you know, on this side, unless there's something terrible over there. City police are going to stay on that side, off campus, unless there's something terrible over here. Live at UC, Jeff Herschel of the 12 News. Back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. And even though UC police suspended off-campus traffic stops, university officers can still pull over drunk drivers and can also respond to violent crime near campus if they can get there before the Cincinnati officers.